Hello, Tiger fans. Welcome to the area championship here at the Chieftain Center, home of the Sepulpa Chieftains. I'm Ethan Scott, joined alongside Greg Spencer here on Aerovision. And we have a belter here for you guys tonight. The undefeated 24-0 Broken Arrow Tigers taking on the 16-8 Owasso Rams here in the area championship. Greg, such a big game with huge implications on the line. What are you looking forward to most? Looking forward to a W. First and foremost, the Tigers looking to go 25-0, and looking to beat Owasso for the third time. But here, it's uh, you know, anytime you see a team that you're familiar with on both ends of the court, it gets harder to beat a team. And this is a young Owasso team that is led by two freshmen. I said that, right? Two yes. freshmen. And here they are in an area championship. They don't know any different, right? They just started their high school careers. They're ready to go try and get to a state tournament, and the, and the, the senior-laden Tigers are trying to do the same thing. But a chance to continue this special ride for Broken Arrow, get to 25-0, and 0, punch their ticket just like our girls did last night, and it's going to be a great game either way. Uh, really excited about it as we get set here for the national anthem, and we'll be right back after it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Starting tonight for each squad, we'll start with the Broken Arrow Tigers first. Connor Dowd, number three. Justice Sutton, number five. Ethan Ellison, number 15. DJ Howell, number 21. And Dason Cook, number 25. The usual starting five this season for the Broken Arrow Tigers. Minus two games when Justice Sutton was out with a concussion. For the Owasso Rams, Jalen Montanati, number one. Bowden Williams, number three. Brandon Mann, number 20. Gage or Gabe Patterson, number 35, and EJ Lewis, number five, starting for the Owasso Rams here tonight. Greg, Broken Arrow, you mentioned how they've played them three times, excuse me, two times this season. This will be their third. With a game like this, you could say the same thing about Muskogee in the first round of regionals, and kind of the same thing about Union, played them once uh, through the regular season. What do the Tigers need to improve upon? in their past games against Owasso to continue a three-game sweep this year. Just be themselves. Do, do what got them 24-0. Do what got them to this game. This is a team led by seniors plus DJ Howe that has played a lot of basketball together since they were kids. Uh, you know, this is the moment that they've been dreaming of or one of the moments. And they've been, you know, they've had just such a perfect senior season. You want to keep, you know, punching your ticket each stop of the way. But more specifically, as far as X's and O's and what they do, just do what you do well. Cause trouble, defend. Uh, I think a big key to the game, as we always talk about, is, is going to be DJ Howe. We've had two play, playoff games so far. DJ struggled against Muskogee. He really brought it. 
corrected, made 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 a lot of corrections in that Union game, and you saw the difference in that team. You're playing a much better Union team, and you just rolled them. Whereas Muskogee, you had a lot of trouble. They a lot of times, even with all the senior leadership we have, because DJ's so integral to the offense when he plays at a high level, we are really hard to beat, as evidenced by that 24-0 record. And for our seniors, including DJ Howell as well, the sophomore, a huge game. Got to this point last season, unfortunately took the loss to Booker T in the championship, followed by a loss to Jinx. Looking to just seal the deal now and head to yeah, state. Yeah, get, get to it. Punch that ticket in three games and go get ready for those next three games. B.A. wins the tip. Connor Dow with the basketball, and here we go. Being guarded by Lewis, gets it to Ellison. Inside to Cook. Cook throws it over D.J. Howell. A little bit of contact under the basket, but the ref lets them play on. So that'll be a turnover to start this game for the Tigers. Uh, broken arrows, they so often do when they win tips or out of timeouts, go to a quick, quick hit or set, trying to get the isolation of D.J. down the block, but unfortunately pass a little bit off the mark there. Montanati with it. Hands it off to Lewis. Lewis running the offense. Bounce pass back to Montanati. Shoots it. Over Justice Sutton, and that shot's good. Yeah, and that's that's just 6'8", six, six, shooting over 6'7", six, 6'6", six, six right there. Uh, and that's going to be another turnover, possibly. Nope, Tigers looking to regain possession, to which they do. Justice Sutton going on the floor for it. It's going to be a jump ball there. And Owasso coming off feisty here to start it. Yeah, Montanati's the guy in the, in the game at BA. I don't remember what his final stats were, but he kind of struggled. Uh, kind of got some shots to go in late, but it took him a while to get going. So you really want to, you know, hope that he has an off shooting night because he can pretty much get off any shot he wants. With it is Lewis Owasso ball. Lewis setting up the offense, being guarded by Ellison. Tigers in man to man. Now that is Montanati. Montanati goes back outside, back inside, being guarded by Sutton Well here. Man with the ball. Gets it to Patterson. Finds it back to Mann. Brandon Mann inside goes up over Howell. Layup is good there for Brandon Mann. And Owasso starting it off two for two. Yeah, good, good start on both ends of things for Owasso. They've come out with a lot of energy. Broken arrow kind of another ill-advised shot there on that possession. B.A.'s got to get back in transition. Good defense there from Connor Dow. Finds D.J. Howell. One-on-one -on -one situation, D.J. Howell misses the layup, but Connor Dow able to tip it back in, and the Tigers are on the board. Alert play there by Connor. D.J. a little bit too lackadaisical on that finish. He's got to go up strong and make sure it counts. Lucky for Connor was there for the rebound. Brandon Mann with it. Finds Patterson back to Montanati. Now with it is Bowden Williams. The freshman hands it off to Mann. With it is Patterson. Back to Montanati. Montanati driving baseline, goes up. That one blocked by D.J. Howell. Now with it is Ethan Ellison. Bounce pass to Cook. Cook inside to Justice Sutton. Wide open lane to the basket. We have a tie ball game, 4-4. Four to four. There we go. Great transition offense by B.A., one of their specialties. Usually when we defend well and take care of those transition opportunities, we do a lot of good things, and that's what happened there. With it is Williams. Ref blows his whistle. Yeah, there was there was a little bit of contact by both of them. Montanati did a good job selling it there, and unfortunately for Justice, he picked up a foul. Justice, as he so often does, is the guy that picks up the toughest defensive assignment, starts on Montanati here. So let's see if we can make sure he stays out of foul trouble. That one, another turnover that time, thrown by Bowden Williams of Owasso. Cook with it, gets it to Sutton, finds Connor Dow. Pull up three, that one no good from Connor Dow. Rebounded by Mann. Man with it going up the court. Layup there from Man. Layup is good. No charge called as T.J. Howell tried to get it called for him. Connor Dow going inside, passes back out to Cook. Cook pump fake inside. Back to Howell, and they're going to slow it down a little bit. Coming out fast and furious. Uh, we've got kind of a late arriving crowd here with this 6 o'clock Friday start time. You got that traffic. You got construction to get here. A lot of fans piling in as we speak. Good crowd already. Student section starting to file in. I think by the time we get to the second quarter, as you see people waiting out outside to watch this, you're going to have a packed house. In fact, oh, yeah. we might have a little bit of a, a hindered view here at some point if, if the students keep filing in. <laughs> Howell inbounds it to Justice Sutton. Now with it is Dason Cook who finds Dow. Dow inside to Ellison. 
Cross-court pass to DJ Howell for a rare three there from Howell. No good. Rebound. Ellison. Yeah, good They're call there. Call the good foul. Call. Yes, on Patterson. Ethan fought to, to get the inside position there, and it was kind of in one of those tweener calls, but there definitely was an over back there, so good effort by Ethan. Inbounding it is Sutton. With it is Howell. Driving inside, pull up, mid-range shot from DJ Howell. No good, kind of rushed, but he gets his own rebound. Bounce pass from Dason Cook. He gets it back after it was tipped, and that's just thrown out of bounds there by Dason Cook as he was looking for Connor Dow. Speaking of people rolling in, we got the Bixby basketball team in front of us. They'll be playing against Putnam City North. Or Putnam. Or Putnam City <laughs> North, excuse me. After this one. That'll it's all right, you're not from the, the Oklahoma City area. You don't, you don't know. <laughs> Patterson sets the screen for Lewis. Bowden Williams didn't look like he was ready for the pass, but still catches it anyways. Gets it back to EJ Lewis. Montanati with the basketball step back. Justice Sutton guarding him really well there. Fans getting loud about it. Yeah, Co Coach Wallace and the crown wanted to walk there. Didn't get it. Man inside. That layup is good for man. Uh, and, and man's showing that he is a man. Did a little bit of flex there on DJ as he posted him up and backed him down. He, you know, Owasso's a team that matches up well with us. They're a little bit shorter, but when you got Mans and Montanati and you got these scrappy guards, you know, they're not scared. They're going to they're gonna battle size-wise. They do a lot of things that, that, comp, that comp what we try to do, and that's why they've given us two tough games. You know, if you, if you, if you remember, we, we were, you know, even though Justice was, was out of the last game, we were down 10 going into the fourth quarter of that game, and it basically took a career effort in the second half by Connor Dow to rescue us from, from defeat as he was just hitting everything in sight. So he's going to have a lot harder time getting loose here tonight. So Broken Air is going to have to do some things to get him the ball. Got Coming in for yeah, the Rams. a double team there when he uh, touched it on that one. Shot from Sutton, no good. Rebound, Montanati. Coming in for the Rams, Anson Harbog on the floor now. Montanati gives it back to Brandon Mann. Mann finds Lewis. Montanati with the basketball being guarded by Sutton. Spin move. Gets it to Bowden Williams for three. That one's good. Yeah, that, that's not a possession you like if you're Broken Arrow on defense. I actually subtracted points there for a second, so I got confused what the score is. But now Tigers should be 11. Yeah, there you go. They fixed it. Connor now in side reverse layup, and it's beautiful. Yeah, that was a big answer there by Connor. Beautiful move, strong finish. Tigers really needed two points there, and they got them. Now with it is EJ Lewis. Five-point lead for the Rams. Montanati being guarded by Sutton. Goes inside. Layup from Montanati is no good, but it's going to be a foul called there by the referee. Send him the line for two. Well, and Connor has the assignment on Bowden Williams, the, the senior three versus the freshman three, and he helped off just enough on that to give Bowden Williams a really clean look, and you cannot give him that clean look. First one from Matsunati, no good. Matsunati taking a breather here. The fans just keep rolling in for this one. Hits the second. Six point deficit for the Tigers. DJ Howell with it, gets it to Connor Dow. Connor Dow finds Cook, hands it off to DJ Howell. He gets it back to Connor Dow for another pull-up three. That one no good as well. Rebound, Montanati. So no three-pointers for Connor or the Tigers so far. Struggling to score here early with with two minutes left in the first period. DJ Lewis gets it back to man. Finds back it to Lewis. Man back inside. Uses his pivot foot well, but he's not going to make the layup. Now with it is Connor Dow. Connor Dow behind the back. Gets it to Dason Cook, who finds Justice Sutton. Sutton with it. Has it tipped by the Owasso Ram defense. Keeps his composure well, though. Ethan Ellison now with the basketball. Gets it back to Connor Dow. 
Step back from mid-range. That's a two-pointer, and it's good there for Connor Dow. Yeah, that was a tough shot, but a nice dribble handoff there by Ethan. Connor caught in rhythm. Tigers got to get back, though. Montanani on the tack already. Doubled him there to make sure he couldn't do nothing. EJ Lewis with a hardcore hand in his face. That one's no yeah. good. We'll take that shot all day. That's not the shot that, you know, Owasso has really done a good job having good possessions every time. That's, that's really their first empty possession we've seen. Tigers looking to make it just a one-score deficit. There Ellison. we go. Oh, and that's a good fake there from Ethan Ellison as he jams it down. Great play and execution there on that little fake dribble handoff. Kind of a counter to what we saw on the last play where he did give it, faked it. It's kind of like a quarterback, you know, read option almost in a sense. Uh, totally faked him out, then put it on the floor and finished with authority. Monsonati with it now. Gets it back two man. Two point lead now for the Owasso Rams. Lewis, there we that go. That one's stolen by the Tigers. And DJ Howell snatching that before anything else could happen. So Broken Arrow, as they so often have, it feels like those times when we're trailing in first quarters, we tend to find a way to tie it up or take the lead anyway. Justice Sutton, Ethan Ellison for three. That one is good, and the Tigers take the lead. What was I just saying about taking the lead? <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we just have a knack. This team finds ways to win. They find ways to weather the other team's runs. And that's exactly what they've done here in the last few possessions. Montanati with it now. Another there turnover again. there from the Owasso Rams. Ethan Ellison on the fast break here for the Tigers. Finds Dason Cook inside to Sutton. Oh, kicking out. Power dribble from Sutton. That one no good, but he Jeez. is fouled on the way up. It'll be a shot for two. Well, he better hit these two free throws because he missed an easy bucket there, and he had Connor wide open in the corner for a three. So Justice looking a little sluggish right now. Look, looks kind of tired. He's hit the deck a few times. I think uh, him more than any of our five starters right now probably need a little bit of a rest. About six seconds left here in the first quarter. And Diego Ochoa going to come into this one for the Tigers in place of Dason Cook. Yeah, so we got Tigers on a 10-0 run right now. Second one from Sutton, good as well. 15 to 12 for the Tigers. You need to get a shot off quick here, Owasso, if you want to tie it. Nope, no, no good. good. And that's going to take us to the end of the first quarter. 15 to 12 lead for your Broken Arrow Tigers here in the area championship. We'll be right back with more Broken Arrow Tiger basketball after this. Meet Jocelyn, a member at TTCU Federal Credit Union. I'm finishing my master's degree. I'm working full time, and I'm saving for what comes next. And because TTCU offers higher dividends for my savings account and lower rates for loans, I can reach my goals even faster. I work hard to achieve what I want. So I found the perfect credit union that works just as hard as I do. Let TTCU work for you. Life is better in balance. While you are teaching someone special the nuances of keeping the wheel steady, we can provide you means for you to maintain financial equilibrium. First National Bank of Broken Arrow. First people put people first. Welcome back, fans. 15 to 12, the score. Your Tigers lead it. I meet the Scott Journal alongside Greg Spencer here on Aerovision. Spencer, throughout that first quarter, as you said, a 10-0 run, really to close it out. What was most impressive about that uh, run altogether? Well, it actually ended up being 11-0, I think, after that, that second free throw. But really just, you know, this is a team that you don't go 24-0 by accident. Uh, when other teams find a way to, to make some runs on you, like I said, you weather the storm. That's exactly what we did. And they just, you know, they just stayed calm. You know, they got some good shots, got some transition. The dunk was big. Uh, really, Ethan Ellison did a lot to spark that rally. So solid answer there after Wasso took that 12-4 lead. Madison Dildon getting a chance to catch up with Coach Wallace in the uh, huddle. Madison, what'd you hear? He said, hey, DJ, you're playing too slow right now. He said, guys, we have to start getting stops. We cannot have any more slips. Thank you, Madison. That's going to be another foul there on Montanati. I wish they would have the players' names up there along with the fouls, but unfortunately, the scorer's table not doing that at the moment. It'll only be his first personal, though. I thought he had more. Sutton to the line again for two. Oh. 
First one good. Owasso is such a young team. It's really just impressive what they've been able to do this season in order to make it to the area championship. It'll be a team definitely to fear as time goes on here in 6A. Yeah, you know, this, this matchup's a little bit like last night where you got the team that's a little bit of the underdog, beat them a couple times, young squad, and our girls were able to come out and, and, and get the victory against Booker T. But Booker T, not quite, you know, their girls aren't quite at the level of, of Broken Arrow's boys, so not a completely fair comparison there. <laughs> With his Matsunati, Bodo Williams makes Ellison jump back to Matsunati for three. That one is no good. Rebound. Oh, oh a foul. That was, That's going to be on really. Justice Sutton. Okay. That's going to be two on him, and that was that was very much a questionable call. Coach Wallace there. livid with that call. He's holding his head in disbelief. Dason Cook going to come back into this one for the Tigers in place of Justice Sutton. Big corner piece of the team, Justice Sutton. You don't want to lose him at all in this game. Lewis to inbound. Finds number 22, Cohen Scott. Montanati now with the basketball. Back to EJ Lewis. Scott with it. Finds Lewis, who gets it back to Montanati. A lot of passing here from the Rams on this possession. Now, yeah, also trying to figure out exactly how they want to attack this zone right now. Not a lot of movement being created, but Broken Arrow's got to be ready to react out to the shooters, especially Williams, who has it right there. Surprisingly, he's not. Oh, he's going to take that one, though. Williams for three. That one, no good. Air ball. Yeah, he hasn't looked to put it on the floor very much. He's kind of relying solely on, on the three look so far. With it is Howell. Setting up the offense here for the Tigers. Screen set by Ellison. DJ Howell inside. Spin move. That one blocked by Montanati. No foul called. It'll remain with the Tigers. I don't mind that no call there if, the, if that's what's happening across the board. But when you when you call the tic-tac foul on the other end and, and, and get justice with a second foul, I'd like to see it a little more consistent. Connor Dow inside to Howell. Howell with the reverse layup, no good. Gets his own rebound, however. Layup again, no good. It's going to be a Wasso Ram ball. They're going to call a foul there on Ethan Ellison. Yeah, a lot of contact, and, and some of that is being initiated by DJ. He needs to be a little less concerned with drawing the contact and more concerned with just going and finishing. Uh, I think that's maybe how the refs are looking at and why he's not getting the calls. With it is Lewis. Montanati now with the basketball inside to Patterson. Patterson, good pass to Mann, but way better defense from Connor Dow. Gets his own rebound, however, and he shoots the layup, and it's good. And the Tigers in that zone right now, not quick enough to react to the rebound. That's, that's always one of the, the things that can hurt you the most when you're in a zone is offensive rebounds, and that's exactly what happened with Mann. Dason Cook gives it to DJ Howell. Howell for a pull-up three from the top of the key, and that one's good from the sophomore. I like it. Shoot it like you mean it. Shoot it with confidence. Good answer there by DJ. Big shot to put us back up six. DJ Lewis now with the basketball for the Rams. Hands it off to Patterson. Monsonati trying to back down DJ Howell. Patterson for three to answer. No good. That'll be tipped out of bounds off the hands of Cohen Scott. He'll remain with the Tigers. Ochoa to inbound after he ties his shoe. Devon Wallace checked into this one for the Tigers. He comes in for Ethan Ellison. Get Ellison a breather. Yeah, in a big game like this, you really got to – it's, it's kind of like, you know, as you move along in the playoffs in the NBA, you kind of shorten your rotation a little bit. Haven't seen, Didn't see Coach Wallace go to the bench until right at the end of the first quarter. Second substitution at the 520 mark here in the second. Howell with it. Shoots it. He tried drawing contact, kind of looking like James Harden. Bowden Williams now with the basketball. No good, rebound Cook. Fast break here for the Tigers. DJ Howell, slowing it down, gets it to Cook. Back to DJ Howell. And just as we talked about, this place is really filling in right now. It, it may be borderline standing room only by before halftime. Ochoa to Cook. Connor Dow snatching it out of the air. That one's good there from Connor Dow. Great hands by Connor. It looked like he was going to lose that twice. It was not an easy pass to catch. 
Then he got the power dribble and almost lost it, but was able to regain it and finish. Tigers have their largest lead of the night at 22-14. Patterson inside to man. That should have been an off. Yeah, yeah. They actually call a foul, I believe, on Dason Cook. Mm -hmm. That it will be. Dason's got to be careful about coming up too high when he's trying to contest that pass with no backside help. That's kind of where he got in trouble, even though it looked like Mann did shove off with the elbow a little bit there. Mann's first one is good. Looks like the Rams are in the bonus now. Second one good as well. 22 to 16, a six point lead here for the Tigers. Looking to make it more. Gets it to Diego Ochoa, who finds Dason Cook. Back to Howell. Inside to Cook. Montanati on him. Wow. That's just a miscommunication. That'll be another turnover there on the Tigers. Well, I'd like to see Dason, you know, he's getting that pass from the wing, getting it back at the high post, but he needs to square up and at least be a threat right there to, to shoot that 15-footer that instead of just looking to pass immediately. Lewis finds Patterson. Monta, or excuse me, Williams gets it to Montanati for a pull-up three. That one no good. Rebound, Connor Dow. DJ Howell with it now. Goes inside, draws the double team. Cook now for a corner three. From Ochoa, the assist credited to him. And it's going to be a timeout from the Owasso Rams. Nine-point lead now for the Tigers as Dason knocks it down calmly off the great pass. It'll be a 30-second timeout, so we'll stay right here. A nine-point lead for the Tigers. That officially being their biggest of the night so far. Spencer, what do they need to keep doing to ride the ship? Well, they're defending really well. It hasn't mattered if we've been man or zone. We played more zone since Justice went out. But they're helping and recovering. They're getting out to the shooters. You haven't seen many clean looks from Williams or Montanati, the two guys you're most worried about. Uh, Montanati really hadn't scored in a while, so he, he's a guy that we want to keep keying on. Uh, interesting, you haven't seen, you know, Owasso hasn't taken out many of their starters either. Both teams really going starter heavy so far here a quarter and a half or so into the game. Referee's cleaning up something. I'm assuming water or sweater, something. But we're ready. Lewis with it. B.A. shutting down Bowden Williams pretty well throughout this one. And Matsunati. Williams with it. Tigers back in man there on this possession. Same thing, we got to watch out on those lob passes to man when you're fronting them. The backside help's got to be there. Owasso almost losing it. Patterson has it. Tries going up. Tigers with it. It's a turnover. Now with that is Connor Dow. Makes his defender spin. Layup from Dow. No good. Oh. Rebound, Patterson. I like that aggressive drive and finish. Did everything but find a way to get it to go into the bucket. Would have been a big layup there. Oh, got to get a charge. That's yeah. a charge exactly there. Diego Choa taking that one. Great defense by Diego stepping in, giving up his body. Love seeing that from your role players off the bench in such a big game like this. This is a big possession for Broken Arrow. You're up nine. You know, going up double digits against a freshman, you know, led squad like this, heading into halftime would be a lot. Devon Wallace with it, 235 left in the first half. Connor Dow. Surprised he didn't pull the trigger on that one. Step back from the corner, though. That one is no good. Rebound Williams. Not a lot of threes from Connor Dow really throughout the entire playoff run, it feels like. Man out to Williams. EJ Lewis. Makes Cook spin. That one is no good. Air ball from the mid-range. Rebound, D.J. Howell. Cook gets it to Ochoa. Back to Howell. Listening to Coach Wallace direct the offense. Hands it off to Ochoa. Being guarded closely by Williams. He's going to drive and take advantage of that for sure. Layup is good there for Diego Ochoa. 
Like it, clear it out, make them come get out and guard you. If they don't want to, you're going to take some time off the clock. But Ochoa did everything right there. Montanati also doing everything right there. The power dribble pump fake combo. Well, and that was really the first defensive possession we've had in a while where we didn't get back. You know, that you, you can't let Montanati get a look like that off a made bucket. Owasso guarding really closely. Minute 15 left here in the first half. Howell finds Ochoa. Back yeah. to DJ Howell. Take your time, but don't lose your sense of urgency. I, you know, I like when we do this, but we got to be smart. Ochoa for three, no good. And DJ's going to pick up a cheap, cheap over the back foul there, and really that's on him. You got to fight for position there. You can't just pogo up and expect not to get that called on you. Referee's going to wipe up something, some sort of sweat. Cohen Scott back into this one for the Rams. He replaces Montanati. Only has four points in this one. Had the first and most recent. Lincoln Smith coming in here for the Broken Arrow Tigers in place of Connor Dow getting number three, a breather. Well, this may be a, a quick little way to get Connor a breather. Wouldn't be surprised if we see him back in once we if we get an off a dead ball leading into an offensive possession. Lewis with it, 27 to 18 lead for the Tigers. Patterson inside the man. That's going to be a foul called there on DJ Howell. Yep. Now, now that's at least two on him. Yeah, you were right, Spencer Connor Dow coming back to the scores table immediately. It really man's the guy that's caused us the most problems right now since. Since they kind of, you know, Justice went to the bench with two fouls, and they've really looked to pound it into the post to man, and he, he's, he's got us in some foul trouble. 17 fouls as a whole for the Broken Arrow Tigers on the one and one he misses. Uh, I'd, like to I'd like to find a way for us to get the last shot here. About 35 seconds left. Devon Wallace set it up. Gives it to Ochoa, who finds Lincoln Smith. Lincoln Smith to Connor Dow. Connor Dow goes inside, hop step. No. They're going to call the charge. <laughs> wow. Patterson taking it like a champ. Uh, I mean, ju just because a guy get, gets moderately set and gives up his body does not mean it's a charge. Connor went, I mean, he, he made a nice move to avoid that contact. I don't know about that one. Brandon Mann with it. Gets out to Lewis. Lewis with the fake, finds Bowden Williams. Back to Brandon Mann. Brandon Mann being doubled now at the corner. Finds Bowden Williams who gets to E.J. Lewis. Cohen Scott with it, driving inside. Back to Patterson. Lewis for three. That one is no good. Rebound Cook, one second left. They're just going to hold it. And that's going to be the end of the first half. 27 to 18 lead here for your Tigers. Spencer, any closing remarks before we head to halftime? Well, you know, we, we've outscored them, I, I think, 23 to 6 uh, since early in the game. You got to feel confident to be up nine, but you feel like you also left a little bit on the table as we go down to Madison on the court. Coach, what are you looking for in this next half? Just the same intensity. I mean, we know it's going to be a low-scoring game. Uh, every possession matters, so we just got to clean up a little bit of things down here, uh, taking away some of the easy buckets, and then just execute offensively. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Thank you, Madison. That's going to take us to halftime. We'll be right back with more Broken Arrow Tiger basketball after this break here live on Aerovis. Meet Jocelyn, a member at TTCU Federal Credit Union. I'm finishing my master's degree, I'm working full time, and I'm saving for what comes next. And because TTCU offers higher dividends for my savings account and lower rates for loans, I can reach my goals even faster. I work hard to achieve what I want, so I found the perfect credit union that works just as hard as I do. Let TTCU work for you. Life is better in balance. While you are teaching someone special the nuances of keeping the wheel steady, we can provide you means for you to maintain financial equilibrium. First National Bank of Broken Arrow. First people put people first. There is nothing like teaching about the rewards in life, like catching that first big fish. 
Now they can learn about other rewards by opening up my first savings account just for them. First National Bank of Broken Arrow. First people put people first. Recently, you've had to put your life on hold, and we're with you in this. At Ascension St. John, we're now open for appointments, and we are fully prepared for your safety in our care. As we open our doors again, our doctors, nurses, and care teams will continue to wear personal protective equipment. We've taken even more steps to clean and stringently disinfect all areas. We will maintain distancing in our waiting rooms and will continue to limit visitors. And we will still screen all staff to protect their health and yours. Our emergency rooms are here 24 seven. Please do not delay care. We're still delivering babies and performing surgeries. And we're open for your appointments from specialists in surgical care to routine care and health screenings. Ask us about virtual visits. Ascension St. John continues to care for you as we have been for almost a century. Thank you for trusting us. Meet Jocelyn, a member at TTCU Federal Credit Union. I'm finishing my master's degree. I'm working full time and I'm saving for what comes next. And because TTCU offers higher dividends for my savings account and lower rates for loans, I can reach my goals even faster. I work hard to achieve what I want. So I found the perfect credit union that works just as hard as I do. Let TTCU work for you. Life is better in balance. Isn't it nice to know that you can spend your weekend any way you like? We have convenient e-bank products such as online banking, mobile deposits, mobile banking, and account alerts, just to name a few. E-bank, whenever, wherever, why ever. First National Bank of Broken Arrow. First people put people first. If you and your family have been waiting for the perfect time to jump into your dream home, it's here. We make buying a new home as easy as it is exciting with quick credit approvals and great rates. First National Bank of Broken Arrow. First people put people first.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ethan Scott, joined alongside Greg Spencer, here live on AeroVision for the Area Championship between the Broken Arrow Tigers and the Owasso Rams. If you're just now joining us here, 27 to 18 is the score. Your Tigers lead it after a very impressive first half led by Connor Dow and Ethan Ellison. Greg Spencer, so far throughout this one, what would you say has impressed you most about the Tigers? Well, the young Rams came out swinging. It took an early, I think it was 12-4. And then the Tigers answered 27-18. So if you're doing the math there, I believe that's 23-6 to since that early lead. So you got to kind of carry over. One thing to consider, you know, when we were in the uh, area championship last year against Booker T, and really jinx for that matter in the consolation, foul trouble really hurt us. Anthony Allen, a couple of other guys, like Anthony just could not stay on the floor that game. Justice has two fouls right now. <clears throat> DJ has two fouls. Those guys got to stay on the floor. Just just be smart. Nothing, you know, put yourselves in position to, to not pick up cheap fouls. Um, that's going to be a, an important thing. Just continue to defend well. Continue to have quality offensive possessions. Tigers and Rams taking the court now. All the starters back in for the Tigers as well as the Rams. You were talking about a standing room crowd at one point, Spencer. It's a standing commentator here in me. I cannot see over the student section. <laughs> and Wassel's going to get the ball to start things out. Bowden Williams to inbound. 27 to 18, Tigers looking to ride the wave and become area champions and advance to state. Lewis gets it to Patterson. Patterson to Bowden Williams. Williams being guarded by Connor Dow. Gets it back to Lewis. Man to Montanati. Montanati with only four points in the first quarter. Brandon Mann inside. That one is no good. Rebound Cook. Got away with a with a walk there. Switched the pivot foot on the post move. Luckily for the Tigers, it was not a cheap two. Connor Dow with the basketball. Bounce pass to, to Justice Sutton, who finds it right back to Connor Dow. Now with it is Howell. Now with it is Ethan Ellison. Ellison, a really good first half from him, who finds it back to Connor Dow for a pull-up three from deep. That one no good. Good box out there from Montanati. It'll be Owasso Ram basketball. Patterson taking it up the court here for the Rams. Bowden Williams with it. Finds EJ Lewis. Lewis bounces it, passes it to Montanati. Montanati now being doubled, who finds Lewis again. Mann goes inside. Layup is good there from Brandon Mann as Owasso opens up scoring here for the second half. And Mann kind of continues to be the guy that's given Broken Arrow some trouble. It seems like every time he touches it, good things are happening. Ellison for another three. Hit his first. That one no good. Sutton, a lot of contact there, but Mann pulls it down. E.J. Lewis for three. That one is good there from E.J. Lewis. A four-point deficit now that the Owasso Rams face here against the Broken Arrow Tigers. Howell goes inside. That is a clear and obvious foul there from Brandon Mann. That only being Brandon Mann's first foul of the game. D.J. Howell inbounding. Now that is Ethan Ellison. Over the head pass to Sutton. That one tipped from underneath. Now yeah. that is Patterson. Brandon Mann goes inside, layup, and they're going to call a blocking foul there on Connor Dow. Well, and just like the first quarter, Owasso coming out of the locker room, ready to play. And the Tigers' nine-point lead that they were kind of on the verge there late in the second quarter of extending to 11, 12, 13, 14. Now they find themselves in danger of only being up one with six minutes in the third. Brandon Mann hits the layup, so 27-25, looking to convert the three-point opportunity, to which he does not. Justice Sutton with it. Connor Dow now with the basketball, carrying it up here for the Tigers. Two-point lead for Broken Arrow. Justice Sutton with it. 
Sutton goes inside, layup is good there from Sutton. Good way to answer back there from Justice. Now that is Brandon Mann. Brandon Mann goes inside, bounce pass to Patterson from the corner. That one's good there for Patterson. Well, the Rams came out of the locker room ready to play, and we we got a ball game. That's all, all you can say right now. The, the Tigers have, to, you know, kind of in the first half, got to be able to answer this little storm, little run out of the gate by Owasso. Ellison finds Howell. Good defense there from E.J. Lewis. And a broken arrow, whole bench erupting because they thought he stepped out. Patterson now finds Mann. Mann inside, another foul called, that time on D.J. Howell. Well, Broken Arrow's just got to take a deep breath right now. They've, they've got punched in the mouth a little bit here. They're still up one. There's still a ton of time left to play. Control the controllables. Do what got you that nine-point lead in the first place. Do what got you to 24-0. With it is Lewis. Finds Montanati. Inside to man, a bullet pass threads the needle. B.A. gets the basketball, though. Turnover on Owasso. Now with it is Connor Dow. Finds D.J. Howell going inside is Howell. That's going to be out of bounds. It'll remain with the Tigers. Can't see who's inbounding for the Tigers. It's going to be D.J. Howell. Overhead to Ethan Ellison. Connor Dow with the basketball, being guarded by E.J. Lewis, who gets it back to Ethan Ellison. Screen set by Ellison once again. A foul called there against Owasso. That one going to be against Patterson. They're going to call blocking. Well, you really got to be impressed the way Owasso has come out of the locker room. It felt like the Tigers had them on the ropes, but they've come out with a lot of energy. They're getting the loose balls. They're knocking down the shots that were, were not there for them for pretty much the entire second quarter. But like we had in the first quarter, Broken Arrow's got to have an answer in him right here, and it starts with this possession. Dason Cook with the basketball. Fade away from Cook. That one no good. Rebound Montanati. Owasso down one. Montanati gives it to Brandon Mann. Mann with a Euro step. No good. They call another foul here against the Broken Arrow Tigers. It's going to be three on Justice. A lot of boos from the B.A. crowd. It, Really feels like Broken Arrow's been drawing a lot of fouls here in this second half. Uh, that was that was kind of one of my talking points right before we got going was stay out of foul trouble, and since then everything's kind of gone against us. Man ties it up. Now looking to take the lead here over the Tigers. You know, in games like this, when you feel like the officiating goes the other way, it's the... The players and the coaches, you, you got to be able to ignore it. You got to be able to understand the situation. Like I said, control the controllable. So, big possession right now for Broken Arrows. They've really been struggling to score. With it is Sutton, gets it to Howell. Tigers down one. Good okay. pass there from DJ Howell into Dason Cook, but he can't finish. Rebound, Justice Sutton. Howell for three. That one is good there from David Howell. Well. I'm going to give DJ an assist to himself on that play. He made a great pass, didn't get finished. We kept it alive, and then he hit an even bigger shot there as he knocked down the three. Now with it is Williams. A three-point lead here for the Tigers. Lewis. Now with it is Cohen Scott. Finds Williams for three. That one is no good from Williams. Rebound Cook, and he'll be fouled on the way down. The Tigers back in that zone that was so effective in the second quarter almost gave Bowden Williams a little bit too good of a look. Connor reacted a little bit step slow, but he did hustle, did get a hand in his face, contested the shot, and it was probably just enough to cause the miss. With it is Howell. Who just hit an absolute dagger. Gets it inside to Ellison, over the head pass. Yeah, holding. Yep, a holding. That one called on Scott. So that's going to be back-to-back -back fouls there on Cohen Scott. Got to see what Coach Montanati does about that. Gets it to Dow. Good pass there from D.J. Havel. 
Now with it is Howell once again. Connor Dow back to Howell. Being guarded by Lewis, kind of a mismatch. Howell can take advantage of, but no. Bowden Williams goes under. It's a turnover there on the Tigers. Now it's a fast break opportunity. Brandon Mann, Euro step layup is good there from Mann. Say it again, Brandon Mann has been the man in this game. Really the MVP for this Ram team so far as he brings him back within one. Howell layup is good though from the sophomore. Great answer there by DJ. We, we talked about it before the game, just how important he is to this team and how different they are when he plays at a high level. And we're getting that high level so far tonight. Three point lead for the Tigers, Montanati. Now that it's Lewis. Lewis, a pull-up three. That one is good there from EJ Lewis, and it's a tie game. No yeah. defense there on EJ. Well, I mean, you know, that, that there may be a little bit in the scouting report to, to give him that shot, but he hit one earlier, and you just you got you to gotta affect it, got to get a hand in his face. Cook with it. Broken Arrow kind of being really methodically methodical offensively so far here in this third quarter. I, I don't really like the pace we've been playing at. Connor Dow finds Howell. Now to the Sutton. Going inside, pull up from mid-range. That one's good from Justice Sutton. Calling Bodie and Williams too small. And we got a shootout here <laughs> at Chieftain Center. Yeah, Broken Arrow's got to find a way to get some more stops. They're not defending the way we saw in the first half then that lack of defense at that high level is not leading to those transition opportunities, and that's why we have a two-point game. With it is man, Montanati for three, the 6-7 guard hits it! Owasso leads! Now yeah, that's, that's just a big-time player, regardless of his age, making a big-time shot. Connor Dow, you're a step inside. It's a good layup there from Connor Dow. Speaking of big-time players, Broken a full Arrow timeout. continues to answer when needed. It's so a full timeout from Broken Arrow. We'll be right back with more Broken Arrow basketball after this. Meet Jocelyn, a member at TTCU Federal Credit Union. I'm finishing my master's degree. I'm working full time and I'm saving for what comes next. And because TTCU offers higher dividends for my savings account and lower rates for loans, I can reach my goals even faster. I work hard to achieve what I want. So I found the perfect credit union that works just as hard as I do. Let TTCU work for you. Life is better in balance. And we are back 38 to 37 after a crucial Connor Dowd layup. Owasso coming on, guns blaring here in the uh, second half. They were down nine. And now we have a ball game here, Spencer. Yeah, it's just, just two good teams, two good teams trading punches right now. Uh, you know, th this feels like a big game, right? You know, this feels like two teams that know what's on the line. Not a lot of substitutions being had. Broken Arrow does bring Diego in for Dason right now. But go back to what I said just a little bit ago. Like, I have not seen us play defensively the way I know that we know how, especially the way we did when we extended that lead and went on that run. So that's where it's going to start right now. Broken Arrow's got to step things up on the defensive end. We're going to send it down to Madison Dildon, our sideline reporter. Madison, what'd you hear? Coach Wallace and Coach Humphrey was telling them, you have to watch their shooters. Get your hands up, play physical, and move your feet. Just keep executing, Ethan. Thank you, Madison. Montanati, speaking of shooters, that one's good from Montanati. A hand in his face. Well, we, we shut him down in the first half, but the, the freshman is answering big time here in the third quarter. And the Tigers are going to have to get something going. Too much help defense. Basically, you're going to have to make some adjustments and just stay with him no matter what. Sutton, that one tipped my man. Another turnover on the Tigers. Now with it is Montanati. A two-point lead for the Rams. 15 seconds left in the third. Montanati slips. Oh. And they're going to call the travel. I was about to say. That would have been a very inconvenient call against <laughs> us right there. That would have been horrible. Uh, we got a score right here. Answer quick. Clock's running. Not sure what we're going so slow for. Ochoa it with it. Five seconds. Inside. Diego Ochoa layup is no good. Rebound Montanati. That one's not going to be good if it goes. Almost did. 40 to 38. 
one quarter away from crowning the area champion. We're live here on Aerovision. We'll be right back after this. Meet Jocelyn, a member at TTCU Federal Credit Union. I'm finishing my master's degree. I'm working full time and I'm saving for what comes next. And because TTCU offers higher dividends for my savings account and lower rates for loans, I can reach my goals even faster. I work hard to achieve what I want. So I found the perfect credit union that works just as hard as I do. Let TTCU work for you. Life is better in balance. While you are teaching someone special the nuances of keeping the wheel steady, we can provide you means for you to maintain financial equilibrium. First National Bank of Broken Arrow. First people put people first. There is nothing like teaching about the rewards in life, like catching that first big fish. Now they can learn about other rewards by opening up my first savings account just for them. First National Bank of Broken Arrow. First people put people first. Start of the fourth quarter, 40 to 38. Tigers down by two. Madison Dildine once again hearing from Coach Wallace and the crew. What'd you hear? They were saying, you guys just need to start sticking together and trusting it. It's, they said, go with win the game. That was their best shot. We've got to challenge it, guys. And that is going to go out of bounds. I believe a foul being called, though. Well, it's been a game of runs. Owasa started out with a run. Broken Arrow had the big run to end the half. Owasso answers, outscoring the Tigers by 11 in the third quarter. Good news for Broken Arrow, you only got to outscore Owasso by three in the fourth. Connor Dow with it, being guarded closely by Scott. Fans getting loud here. They're going to call the foul there on Cohen Scott. A lot of fouls from the bench player, number 22, Cohen Scott, in this one. Well, if I'm, if I'm B.A., Coach Wallace and company have been asking for the officials to kind of even some things out, keep getting the ball to Connor in scoring situations, let him put it on the floor. Lobs it up to Anthony Ellison, and he's fouled. He's talking his stuff. <laughs> yeah, I wish we could have finished that one right That'll there. That all happened really quickly. Yeah. I wasn't even ready for it. It's going to be a foul on Montanati. Ellison, not a smirk on his face. He's taking every second of this game serious. First free throw's good. I don't have the numbers in front of me, but it really feels like Ethan's free throws have gone down at a much more consistent rate in the back end of the season. So hopefully he can tie this game up right here. And that he will do. 40 to 40 ball game. We have a sub for the Rams. Patterson back into this one for Scott. Said it in the first quarter, I'll say it again. The loser of this one takes on either Putnam City North or the Bixby Spartans. Tomorrow, that's, that's gonna be that game's right after us. That's gonna be a really, really good game. Putnam City North been ranked somewhere in the top three all year. Bixby, we know, a very cap capable team as well. Uh, and Howell, he's fouled. Student section pleased with that call. Well, and we're doing exactly what I just said earlier, forcing the issue a little bit more. We were really slow offensively in that third quarter. We weren't in attack mode. They were in attack mode, and we found ourselves down three. Now coming right out of the gate here in the fourth, we put the ball on the floor and we're making things happen. B.A. in the bonus, 17 fouls in the second half against the Owasso Rams. D.J. Howell hits the first free throw and the Tigers once again with the lead. Which is interesting because you're watching this game, you feel like we have not been getting the calls, but it kind of shows a little bit otherwise. Officials are doing a pretty good job here tonight. Broken Air's just had some stuff go against them as DJ puts us back up to. 42 to 47, 15. Left here in the ballgame. EJ Lewis. Gets it to Patterson. That one stolen by the Tigers. Good defense there from Ethan Ellison. Connor Dow with it. Step back three. No good. Rebound. Owasso. It's going to be off the hands, though, I believe, of Brandon Mann. And that it is. It'll remain with the Broken Arrow Tigers. Thought he had that one. That would have been a big look right there in that corner with the students all ready to explode. Ellison with it. Gets it to Howell. Keep attacking here. Don't take too long to set. Get in attack mode. Diego Choa, Bowden Williams guarding. 
He goes inside. That could be a turnover. That it is. Patterson with it. Brandon Mann gets it to Montanati. It's a one-on-two situation here for Montanati. Good defense, though, by Justice Sutton. A double team. Well, smart timeout by his dad there. He kind of bailed him out over there in the corner. It's going to be a 30. But Diego's got to be smarter there. I, I said get in attack mode, but you got to attack with purpose, and there wasn't really a whole lot there on that drive. Uh, when you get it, you know, you teach kids to, when you get in that attack mode to learn to, get, you know, jump, stop, pivot, kick. You got to be able to do that. You know, don't attack too far into the defense to where suddenly you've got a turnover, which is what happened there. Broken arrow, yeah, as you're saying, they need to play faster. They've been playing fast all season long. Not a lot of fast break opportunities I've noticed for the Tigers throughout well, this Well, a lot of that in the third quarter. There, there were the second quarter, we, we got fast break opportunities out of our transition defense into the offense, but Awasa was, was scoring at will on us in the third quarter, which limits those transition opportunities. So that's a lot of how fast you play on offense is, is dictated by how well you defend, and we just didn't defend well enough in the third quarter. With it as man gets it to Lewis. Now with it is Montanati. Montanati using his pivot fadeaway, no good. Rebound Howell, great guarding him. Yeah, great defense there by DJ. He was patient, he didn't do anything stupid. Went straight up, blocked out, got the rebound. I need a Connor Dow three right here. With it is Ochoa. Screen set by Ellison. Step back three from Ochoa, that one is no good. Rebound, man, no rebound, Ellison. Back two, man. We have a toss up here, now with it is Brandon Mann. Tigers having to get back in transition. They're gonna call the blocking foul there on Diego Ochoa. Feet were completely set. Yeah, he was, he's probably a little bit too far under the basket playing devil's advocate there. Uh, I think Diego's gonna come out of the game here on that. A couple things going against him, turnover, uh, missed shot. Charge on the other end, looks like Dason's coming back. And that he will, he's at the scorer's table, Brandon Mann looking to tie this game up for the Rams. First one's good. Actually, Cook gonna come in for Ethan Ellison, it looks like. So Ethan Ellison out of this one right now, getting a breather. I wouldn't keep him out very long. Ethan's had a really good game. Doing things on both ends of the floor. Back to a tie game, another very important possession as both teams trying to jostle this lead back and forth down the stretch. With it is Cook. Finds Sutton, Sutton for three, that one's blocked there by Patterson. But Connor Dow gets the rebound and the layup's good from Dow. Well, that's the second or third time tonight where Connor has kind of bailed out some, some shots on those second opportunities. So you love it when your best player who's not having a good shooting night finds a way to get points like that. With it is Mann. Who finds Bowden Williams being guarded by Dow. Inside to Montanati. Trying to back down DJ Howell like he's been doing a lot tonight and the hook shot's good. Five minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Brandon Mann guarding Howell. Connor Dow with it, being guarded closely by Lewis. Now with it is Sutton, who gets it to Ochoa. A lot of contact between Lewis and Connor Dow on the off ball. That one's stolen by Montanati. Montanati going inside. He's being doubled, and it's gonna be a foul there on Justice Sutton as he came in. Uh, just a lazy entry pass right there in a crucial situation. That can't happen. You know, we got a tie game, 442 to play. Every pass has that purpose to it. It's got to be crisp. It's got to be fundamental. That foul be, actually called on Ochoa. It's going to be the me. difference in the game right now. That foul called on Ochoa, and with that, Ethan Ellison's going to come in for him. A lot of fours on the scoreboard right now. 44-44, 4-42. Kind of wish they had paused that at 4-44. <laughs> Shout out to Jay-Z, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mercy me. That's what Broken Arrow and Owasso are both thinking right now. Oh, tipped off there by Justice Sutton. Well, Montanati inbound. Patterson with it. Going inside. Good defense there from Justice Sutton, keeping his hands completely up. 
Justice Sutton with it now. Dason Cook for three. That one is huge if it goes. No good. Rebound man. Montanati with it. Owasso playing a slower brand of basketball here in the fourth. Four minutes left. Well, I think both teams are a little bit gassed right now. That third quarter, you know, Owasso played at such a high level. Broken Arrow played at such a high level in that second quarter. Right now, it's going to find out, like, who has most left in the tank. Oh, and Montanati hits a dagger. And right now, it's Montanati. He is playing with absolutely no fear. And he just hit the biggest shot of his young high school career right now as the Tigers find themselves down three. And they need an answer quickly. DJ Howell with it. He shoots a three to answer. Back and it's good from DJ Howell. Well, that's the best freshman in the state being answered by arguably the best sophomore in the state right now, 47-47. EJ Lewis with it, gets it to Montanati. Being guarded well by Justice Sutton. That one is a foul called. They're going to call that one on Connor Dow. Montanati to shoot two. Owasso still not in the bonus. Tigers lucky in that case right now. First one's good for Montanati, and Owasso regains the lead, 48 to 47. That's a two-point lead for the Rams. 3.07 left here in the fourth quarter. Tigers need to find a way to score. Need to keep the ball rolling. With it is Howell. Now with it is Connor Dow being guarded well by Lewis, but that's going to be too well as it's a foul. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot, a lot of ball game here. Three minutes left. A lot of things going to be relied on free throw shooting right now as Connor Dow gets to go to the chant, go to the line for a chance to kind of answer what Montanati just did. First one on the one and one though is no good from Connor Dow, a rare miss and a costly miss too. You got to knock that down. Tigers desperately need a stop right here. Patterson to Montanati for three once again. That one airballing. That's a heat check from Montanati in a moment you shouldn't be having him. Now with it is Sutton, gets it to DJ Howell. Howell setting up the offense. A pull up three in his face, no good. Rebound, nobody goes out of bounds. The Owasso ball, that also a heat check there from DJ Howell. Well, chance to have a quality possession there is not the time for a heat check three. I get it, DJ's having a great game, but got to run your offense a little bit more on that possession. Williams finds Patterson. Now with it is Lewis. Nawaso probably going to start taking it as slowly as possible. Obviously want to build on the lead. Montanati inside to man, man layup, and that's good. Nawaso has a four-point lead with a minute 55 left here in the fourth quarter. Can't. Ellison to, da to Dow. Dow for three. That one's good from Connor Dow. Well, I was just about to say, don't panic. You haven't found yourself down four points very often. Connor did not panic, and he made up for that missed free throw right now. And now the Tigers got a chance to get a vastly important stop right here with a minute and 40 down one. I believe just a 30-second timeout called. A one-point deficit that the Tigers face in order to win the area championship and advance the state. A minute 40 left. And this right now is probably the most important part of the game, without a doubt. Uh, this game's been everything is advertised. Two teams that have seen a lot of each other, a lot of each other. Just played a fantastic game just about a month ago in Owasso. Tigers were down 10 going into the fourth quarter, came back and won. 
largely on the shooting of Connor Dow, and that's what, what has got us back within one right now. And like I said, going into the fourth quarter, you know, you're down two. You, you, you blew away the nine-point lead, but you're down two. Bottom line is you just got to find a way to win the fourth quarter by three points. And what has this team done all year long? They find ways to win. That's how you get to 24-0, trying to get to 25-0 with the most important minute and 40 seconds of basketball left in this season at the moment. Need more shots from Connor Dow. That three-pointer right there was huge. Tigers full court pressing with a minute 40 left. Now with it is Lewis. Gets it to Mann. Tigers getting back quickly on transition. Well, they got to be ready to rotate. They got to get, you know, you're still down one, so don't sit back and be, you know, too soft in this zone or else you're going to find yourself still down one with under a minute to play. Lewis with it. Basically in a box and one on Montanati right now, trying to get the ball out of his hand. Patterson layup is good. Wow. And an unlikely hero for Wawaso answers with a big bucket there. About a minute to play. If you're broken air, you don't have to have a three. But if you could get oh, Connor wow. a look at one, you sure would have liked to have one. And a super costly turnover there for B.A. Just again being two. Oh, but another turnover there on the Rams. Inside the dance. Just as sudden, that's a huge foul there. A how, lot of contact. I how can't that see is anything not intentional. Here. I have no idea. Sutton and Mann have been going back and forth all game. Well, Justice, who missed the Owasso game because of a concussion that occurred here at Sapalpa, gets absolutely hammered on the dunk attempt. And all he's going to be rewarded for is just the two free throws. But they're big free throws right here, as he's got to hit them. 44 seconds left, huge. It's no good there from Justice Sutton on the first. So some missed clutch free throws in the fourth quarter by veteran players are why we find, partially why we find ourselves down right now. We really need to get one right here as Coach Wallace looks to get it knocked down and then call a timeout possibly. No timeout from Coach Wallace. Maybe not. Full well. court press once again from the Tigers. Williams with it. Now that it is Lewis back to Williams. 35 Close seconds to a 10 left. second count. Timeout called by Bowden Williams. Smart there from the freshman. Yeah, heads up as he, he knew they were dangerously close to a turnover there. Tigers find themselves down two with 34 seconds. Unfamiliar territory, but not, not in panic mode. Just got to find a way to get a stop, preferably keep Owasso off the line if you can by either forcing a turnover or maybe forcing someone into a quick shot. I'll tell you what, that layup on that last possession by Patterson, I believe, that was huge. That kind of kind of came from an unlikely source in that clutch situation. Not a guy you expect to answer there. Really hadn't done a whole lot tonight. Tiger subbing into Vaughn Wallace. He went to the scorer's table to check in. Loud chance here from the student section. This is the loudest they've been all year. Well, the whole play, you know, you got two towns, a lot of people here play each other in every sport. It's been a great game. You hate, you hate if somebody's got to lose, but that's what's going to happen tonight. Luckily, whoever does lose is going to get a chance to punch a ticket to state tomorrow. For BA, however, they do not want that. If Putnam City North wins tonight against Bixby following this game, that'll be a hard hill to climb. Patterson to inbound for the Rams. B.A. pressing. With it is Montanati. Don't foul yet. And they Another timeout Another called. Timeout, yes. So good job there by Broken Arrow getting some pressure on the guy that caught the inbound. It was Montanati, not a guy you want to put at the line if you can help it. Uh, would still just be a one-on-one -on -one if you did foul, which is encouraging. But you're still mostly with 31 seconds really trying hard to force a turnover or a quick shot here. Broken Arrow definitely need to stop here. They need to make a stop quickly. They need time. Yeah. 
Want to also update you watching at home. If Broken Arrow does not win, we will be back with you tomorrow here on AeroVision. If they do pull off the comeback here in the last 31 seconds, this is going to be our last broadcast for the year for Broken Arrow basketball. Unfortunately, we are unable to broadcast any of the state tournament games, both for the boys and girls. Uh, th those will all be on the NFHS network if you want to uh, watch any of those games on pay-per-view. Otherwise, you're going to have to make the trip down to Norman. Let's go to Madison Dildine with a quick update. Coach was just asking them to trust him. He said, you've got to attack the rim, guys. Thank you, Madison. Man inbounding. They're looking for a five-second call. And they, they get it. it. 31 seconds left. Broken Arrow with the basketball. Down two. Ethan Elson checks back in here for the Tigers in place of Wallace. A huge lapse of judgment there from Brandon Mann. Like I said when we were down four, don't panic. We get another timeout this time from the Tigers. Coach Wallace, Coach King probably got something cooked up for this. And they've actually, looks like uh, Coach Cantrell actually has the the clipboard. The clipboard right now, and he might be drawing something up. So the former Tiger that was a senior my first year here is now an assistant on staff getting the chance to, to draw something up. I'm sure it's something that they work on often, but you got to still reiterate and remind when you have these crucial situations. So most important possession of the season for both of these teams. If you're Broken Arrow, you've had a couple costly turnovers. Got to take care of the ball, be fundamental, strong with your passes, set good screens, get somebody open and give us a tie game or the lead on this possession. 31.2 seconds remain. Tigers looking to punch their ticket to state. Justice Sutton to inbound for the Tigers. Ochoa on the floor as well as Howell, Ellison, and Dow. Shooters on the court. Howell with it. Gets it to Ellison. Good move from Ellison to drive inside. Goes up for the layup. It's good from Ethan Ellison. 19 seconds left. Oh, Timeout, I believe. Yep. I, I mean, I'd hope so. They're just sitting there. 17 seconds left. Another timeout. That time from Montanati. 53 to 53 ball game. If you're a Wasso, I assume you hold for the last shot. Yeah, and if you're Broken Arrow, you're hoping that you can force them to take one a little bit early so you have a chance to answer. Outstanding job by Coach Cantrell drawing that one up. And an even better job of execution by Ethan Ellison. Hearts thumping, Spencer. Hearts thumping. This game is electric. A little bit nervous. Hopefully they're not as nervous as I am. We're going to send it out to Madison Dildine, who's got the scoop. Madison, what's going on? Coaches, we're telling them you cannot gamble. You have to get a stop. It's not over. It's one-to-one -one right here, guys. Thank you, Madison. Well, you can't foul either. you got to guard without fouling. Continue the pressure defense. You know, even though we're picking up full court here, if pay attention. DJ's got the assignment on Montanati, and he's basically assigned to face guard and face guard only. With it is Lewis. Going quick, finds Ooh, Man. Could have had a travel there on Man. With it is Williams, finds Montanati. Eight seconds left. Montanati being doubled, gets out of the double team. Oh, that's got to be a foul. They call it foul. Who's oh, it on? No. They call it on Justice Sutton. You have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. It's a one and one. Four seconds left. Broken Arrow with an outstanding defensive possession. Justice Sutton comes up with what looks like is going to be a game potential winning steal. Gets hammered after he gets the steal and gets a foul called on him. You got to wonder where the travel was on Montanati. Crowd getting loud here. The loudest has been all night. Huge free throws from Montanati. The first from Montanati. It's no good. Rebound Ellison. Four seconds left. Timeout. Timeout. 
Time out from the Tigers, three seconds. Three seconds remain. Montanati, the freshman, cannot knock it down. Ellison makes a choke gesture towards his own bench. 3.6 seconds left. Well, the only thing I don't like about that timeout there is that, that you, in this situation, this isn't the NBA. You don't get the ball advanced. So now you give Owasso a chance to set up your defense. If Ethan gets that ball to Connor, who was open, Connor's going to have a chance to get get into NBA three-point territory for a nice potential look at a game-winning shot there. So don't love it, but I do love the fact that Montanati did not hit that free throw and that we got the rebound. 4.2 seconds remaining. They reset the clock after it was originally at 3.6. to 53-53. And as you said, the Tigers not going to have the ball advance. This is not the NBA. So they'll be starting way at the back. Well, you got you got to have something that gets. I, I would get the ball to DJ here. They do advance it. No, the ball's down there. They're it just is down there. Yeah, I see the ref. I'm not sure what they're discussing, debating yeah. here. Could be how many timeouts Broken Arrow has left. 4.2 seconds. So Connor's going to get the ball back. here. Owasso staying back. They're kind of pressing, but not as hard as they want to. Connor down to inbound, gets it to Howell. Three seconds, two, one. Howell shoots it, layup is no good. We're going to overtime here at the Chieftain Center. What an effort though from the Tigers. You can't degrade it whatsoever. Coming back down three with about 30 seconds left. Owasso looking to have it in the bag after a Montanati free throw opportunity. But that one not going to work. 53 to 53. Well, never really have had an overtime in my career here, Spencer, so I don't know if we kick it to break or not. Yeah, let's go to commercial break. We got overtime here in Sepulpa. Extra basketball, it's for free. 53-53, you're watching AeroVision. While you are teaching someone special the nuances of keeping the wheel steady, we can provide you means for you to maintain financial equilibrium. First National Bank of Broken Arrow. First people put people first. There is nothing like teaching about the rewards in life, like catching that first big fish. Now they can learn about other rewards by opening up my first savings account just for them. First National Bank of Broken Arrow. First people put people first. Meet Jocelyn, a member at TTCU Federal Credit Union. I'm finishing my master's degree. I'm working full time and I'm saving for what comes next. We're back here for the start of overtime, 53 to 53, live here on Eurovision between your Broken Arrow Tigers and the Owasso Rams. What a game we have had here today. Madison Dildine hearing from the huddle. Madison, what's going on? Coach Wallace said, you know what, guys, we haven't seen overtime yet. He said, get a stop. We have to build, Ethan. Thank you. Connor Dow with it. Tigers win the tip. Justice Sutton with it. Gets it to Ellison, who finds Howell. Pull up mid-range from the sophomore. It's no good. Rebound Montanati grazes off the rim. Now DJ grabbing his shoulder there. We could, we're kind of blocked from the angle we're at to see if oh. there were some contact or if he just came down funny, but could have just tweaked it. He, he seems to be struggling. He's going to have to get tough and figure out a way. Chance for a loose ball there. Montanati able to regain it inside to Williams. Williams blocked by Kirk. Now with it's Connor Dow on the fast break. Goes up. That's an obvious foul there from Patterson. And DJ may have to probably got to get him out of the game if yeah, he's he can. Because if he's... If he's ineffective, he actually lost his man down on that, that last possession and a, a, almost allowed Bowden Williams to get a clean look before the, he ended up passing it in the shot block. Woo, it feels good to have a lead back for the first time. Oh, yes. 54 to 53. Dow looking to make it a two-point lead. Howell staying in. He misses the second free throw. We got a lane violation. A lane violation, nice. Tigers catch a break there. Connor's got to knock this one down. Missed a couple free throws here late. 
uncharacteristically, I think he gets this one. This is again back to back. With it is Montanati. 315 left in overtime. Well, that, that's just that's a guy that's played the entire game in overtime, just leaving it a little bit short right there. With it is Williams. Gets it to Montanati for a pull-up three. He's fouled on the way up. Oh my gosh, he almost made it. Well, Montanati may be a freshman in high school, but he has the NBA moves in terms of faking when he gets fouled. I, I don't, I'm not sure I've seen a guy more impressively sell some of these things the way he does. Very costly foul there by Broken Arrows. Montana, Montanati sold it. It's the first. I think they counted it on the wrong side. There we go. 54-54. Crowd getting electric here, hits the second. Owasso takes the lead back, 55 to 54. Montanati looking to make it a two point lead. That one's good, perfect from the line there on that trip. Making up for his miss that sent us to overtime. Well, big swing there as Broken Arrow doesn't get the multiple free throw attempts on one end, a costly foul causes him just like that, back down by two. DJ Howell with it, gets it to Cook, being guarded by Montanati, finds Connor Dow, pull up three with a hand in his face, and it's good from the Oklahoma State signee. And just like last time that he missed the free throw, he comes right back and answers with a three-pointer. Clutch shooting by Connor Dow. With it is Williams, finds Patterson, Inside to Montanati. Goes up. Oh. That one no good. And another foul called for Montanati. Now Montanati getting, getting calls like he's a veteran in the NBA right now. <laughs> good grief. I mean, for a game that's been played so physical, every time he gets in, in a scoring situation, he's able to get a call go his way. First one's good from Montanati, ties it back up. 2.22 left in overtime. The second one good as well from Montanati. And the freshman hitting some clutch free throws. Got to give it up to him. He has had a whale of a second half, and in the, this case, also overtime. Dason Cook with it. Gets it to DJ Howell who finds Sutton, Sutton for a wide open three. That one no good, however, rebound Lewis. Uh, that's a possession that you really would have liked to see Connor get a touch before anybody else gets a look there. Good defense Broken Arrow's got to get a stop right now. Montanati, a wide open mid-range opportunity for the freshman and it's good. A three point lead now for the Rams, Howell with it. Tigers in the double bonus. Screen set by Cook. Howell going inside. Goes up for the layup and he's fouled on the way up. That'll send him to the line. There's a few people in the gym right now. There's a decent chance we are actually over capacity. <laughs> Possibly. Not, not sure if there's any Sapalpa fire marshals here, but. <laughs> We're dangerously close to being over capacity. First one's good from Howell. Looking to make it a one point deficit. The so second one's good too from the sophomore. He's had a great game here so far. Ochoa coming in for Ethan Ellison. I don't wonder how long Ethan Ellison's gonna stay on the bench. A huge senior presence for the Tigers this late in the game. Minute 25 left in OT. 60 to 59, gets it to Patterson. Well, Connor Dow actually guarding Montanati now. Most of the game we've seen Justice or DJ, but Connor wanting to step up here down the stretch. 
and keep the ball out of the freshman's hands. With it is Williams, gets it to Lewis. A minute 05, Owasso taking their time, trying to look for the perfect shot. Well, and if you're broken arrow, you might have to consider potentially coming out of this man and going back into a trapping zone. Williams almost losing it. If you don't get a five second call, you gotta get the trap there. Williams, Lewis doesn't take the three and, and they're lot, just holding it now. Way too much time being taken off the court. Broken arrow's gotta be decisive. And now they just pick up a cheap foul, which may actually be Justice's fifth foul as he it looks to be. be coming this way. So down one, not a great defensive possession by Broken yeah, Arrow. Justice sucked out of this one. Way too much time, ran off the clock. And then you don't get any turnover out of it. You don't get any shot attempts, and now you put them at the line. Luckily, it's just still a one-on-one. We really need... E.J. Lewis to miss this one right now. Spencer, there is a ladybug on this table right now. That's our luck. That's our luck right there, Spencer. If you say so. Lewis with it. First free throw's good. Well, and that, yeah, that was actually the 10th foul. Yeah, so both teams in the double bonus. Justice Sutton fouled out. And Owasso looking to take a three-point lead. And he hits the second. Owasso's been on point from the free throw line so far in this one. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the main difference is they have hit free throws at a higher clip. DJ needs to get the ball down the floor a little bit quicker here. 30 seconds. Broken Arrow likely looking at some three attempts somewhere, trying to get Connor open. Owasso defending well. DJ's going to look. Three. It's no good. Rebound. They're fighting for it. What happened? It's Tiger basketball. 17 seconds left. Well, right now you need to execute your absolute best out of bounds play with great screens. And here we go. Down for three. That one is no good. Rebound Ellison. Well, you got the look you wanted. You cannot ask for a much better look out of bounds than that. 11.6. We get a timeout, I believe, from the Owasso Rams. Huge possession coming up for the Tigers, looking to tie it up and send this to another period of overtime. DJ Howell being yelled at by Ethan Ellison. It's going to be a full timeout right now. We're going to take a quick commercial break. Owasso up three with 11 seconds to play. You're watching AeroVision. While you are teaching someone special the nuances of keeping the wheel steady, we can provide you means for you to maintain financial equilibrium. First National Bank of Broken Arrow. First people put people first. There is nothing like teaching about the rewards in life, like catching that first big fish. Now they can learn about other rewards by opening up my first savings account just for them. First National Bank of Broken Arrow. First people put people first. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 11.6 seconds remaining here on the clock. Tigers down three. Well, if you're broken arrow, you're trying to get into a quick trap. But beyond that, if you don't force a quick turnover, you've got to foul very quickly and put the Rams on the line. With it is Lewis, he's fouled. And unfortunately for us, they have hit their free throws down the stretch. And there's a good chance that this is going to be a two-possession game if he just gets one. Ochoa draws the foul. Cook and Howell on the scorer's table looking to get subbed back in. Two huge free throws here from the Owasso Rams guard, E.J. Lewis. First one is no good. Well, got to find a way to get another miss and see if we can push it down quick and force double OT. Here we go. Tigers need to fight for the rebound if he misses, but he does not. It's a two-possession lead for the Rams. Ten seconds left. Howell letting it roll. You got to take it up quickly. Connor Dow for a deep three. That one no good. Rebound Dow, 
Goes up for another three. That one no good as well. Awasa Rams are heading to the state tournament. A huge upset here in the area championship. Not the way the Tigers, one of their first loss of the season to go. Well, you get this deep in the season, you, you don't want any loss to happen. You know, the magic of the undefeated season comes to an end at 24-0. Most importantly, though, you're going to have a chance to bounce back. This is, this is where the challenge comes from is because now tomorrow you're coming off a loss and you're going to be a play, playing a team, playing a team that's coming off a win. That's, that's the biggest thing is, is, is a coaching staff. How do you regroup a day later, less than 24 hours later, come back and play a really good team, either Bixby or Putnam City North, coming off a win when you've had this letdown? Good thing is we've got a great coaching staff. We have a senior group. And if any team can do it, it's this team. Unfortunately, Spencer, for myself, not able to commentate that one, this officially being my last game for Broken Arrow basketball, commentary-wise. It's been a great run. Not how I wanted it to end, that's for sure. Definitely not how the Tigers wanted tonight to end as well. Zawasa now going to lift the area championship plaque. Well, Tigers just congratulations to Coach Brian Montanati and the Owasso Rams. You know, they're not supposed to be here right now. You know, they're a young, talented team. His, his son is just a big time player. He's gonna be a, a big time, already is a big time national recruit. And really he was the difference. I mean, he, he grew up, he's had a 40 point game this year, maybe even a couple of them. Uh, you're gonna be seeing him play at a high level. And really, you know, the first uh, guy that kept him in the game, uh, Manns, you know, Mann did an, Brandon Mann had an outstanding game. You know, got to give it up to Wasso. They just, they just really played well, found a way. Broken Arrow didn't hit the free throws that Wasso did down the stretch. Some key turnovers at times. Uh, we didn't hit a lot of threes tonight. You know, two good teams coming down to the wire, packed house, amazing environment. One of you's got to come up short, and it's fortunately it was Broken Arrow. So now what happens next? Tigers go back to the locker room. Like I said, they got to regroup. They're going to play the winner of this game right now. Either way, it's going to be a tough game, but we will be back with you tomorrow night at 6 o'clock on AeroVision to bring you what hopefully is a delayed punching the ticket to state for the Broken Arrow Tigers and Coach Wallace. With that being said, now Bixby and Putnam City North taking the court. Thank you, as always, for joining us here on AeroVision. As Spencer said, we'll be back tomorrow at 6 o'clock here at the Chieftain Center. I'm Ethan Scott. Join alongside Greg Spencer. See you guys next time.